Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. So today I'm hiding in the, well not hiding, I'm in the hay shed <laughs> because of the wind and it plays havoc with the microphone. It also plays havoc with some horses and one of mine, yesterday it was really windy. I mean today it's just a bit that I know for that it's going to do that thing in the sound. But yesterday it was really wild and windy and this friend turned up and she said, what are you doing out with the horses? I was out in the arena doing some stuff with the horses. So um, she said, it's crazy in this wind. And I mean, I don't really like the wind and I would not want to be out in it all day long. But for a couple of hours, um, we get a lot of wind up here. You know, I've just moved here, so I'm getting used to the weather and we get a lot. It just seems to be quite exposed. And it really made me think, so my horse that's especially sensitive to that, um, and he's also probably the most um, high spirited, you know, in that way of just being more aware of everything. Um, although my little horse is, and he's much older, so he's got more able to be okay in himself over his life. But Umo um, really reacts to it. So uh, what really occurred to me when she said that and I went to reply was the massive advantages that we can have by facing up to those things that might seem like scary situations. Now, I'm not saying put yourself in danger. <laughs> so it's very much about really stopping and thinking, how do I feel about this situation? And if you think, no, it's too much, I can't cope, or I'm just not able with that today, then of course don't do it. And also with the horse. Is he like nervous and is that scaring me enough that I think I can't handle that? Then of course, again, it's not the time to do it. <laughs> practice in easier situations but yesterday I was feeling good and I could see he was like and he actually gets so nervous he jumps up there and kicks out at the wind so it's also an amazing learning opportunity for me to really see just what's in there you know especially if you have a horse that can be quite laid back to take advantage of these situations that might bring up things and if you can then find a way to deal with it in a controlled situation when it comes up unexpectedly and you are like at a competition or out on the road hacking or something, then you have more tools to deal with it. And I think the most important part for me, especially with Umo, with that horse, is about trust. So when he's really scared and nervous, and that's the situation, obviously I've got a big arena here, and you know, if it gets too much, I could stop and go inside and, you know, do some stuff in there. But to gain his trust, you know, that when he's scared, I can be a safe place that he can trust in to feel okay. So it just seems such a good opportunity to build that trust in him, in me, <laughs> and then also building that trust in myself. You know, we can always um, have more self-belief and trust in ourselves that we can handle different kinds of situations. So it's very much being able to step, you know, they talk a lot about the comfort zone if you want to see it like that, but to be able to step into those situations that might seem too much with an awareness that if it is too much, I can step back out and do something easier and then try that again on another time. And I think for the horse, it's very important, you know, that we push those boundaries a little bit and not get scared to um, ask a bit more while always being able to step out our ego and just step back and make it easier when we can't. So yesterday, for example, with that wild, wild, windy day, I started just, my, my plan was I would like to lunge him and practice long, straight lines, you know, really get him going forward. But I'm going to start just walking. So we just walk together and I just walk, can he walk very, very slowly, really paying attention to his expression. Is he getting distracted when he's looking over there? Let him look over there, have a look with him and then just ask him to bring his attention back onto me. <sighs> and those lovely long grounding breaths that make such a difference, you know? And then little by little build it up. Can I put him out on the rope? Can he cope with being a few meters away on a crazy wild day like this? <laughs> so I ended up being able to actually trot and canter him around on a big circle, which was um, very satisfying <laughs> for me and good for him. So um, yeah, 
take those opportunities. Be honest with yourself, you know, and just stop and really look at it. And it's just like, what is the, is this too much? Or can I cope with it? Can I go for it? And if it gets too much, I can just bring it back, you know? So I hope that's useful. <laughs> Next time it's windy, I will remember to set the camera up with him and uh, we can um, do another little recap on that because also he looks so gorgeous when he's up there like, ah, and his mane flowing. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time.